Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Jin here for those who have been viewing my videos I hope you enjoy my videos guys and if you do uh, enjoy and like my video please like and subscribe my my channel if you guys have not subscribed my channel yet anyway uh this is just one of my you no know, makeup day <laughs> i'm kind of like on the mood of uh trying to uh, doing a video even though i'm not you know that up today but it's okay <laughs> you've seen me so many times in different kind of faces and different looks but hey sometimes we just we don't have to be look pretty all the time right although it's kind of nice sometimes we're women we're women right we like to look nice but you know like i said it's just showing off the different phases of how we look every single day we kind of gain weight we feel like bloated <laughs> we feel like you know like blah but you know it's part of our daily life but uh, the purpose of my of course my videos my vlogs are to kind of like entertain friends you know like viewers that you know gonna gave it a good vibes and stuff like that so i'm so thankful for the uh, subscribers for the viewers who support my channel and thank you so much for that so just a brief kind of shout out to uh, uh viewers from indoro viewers from the villages viewers from Cavite, viewers from olongapo from um uh, Cebu also, uh, Talisa, you know, uh, oh, Mindoro, is it Mindoro already? <laughs> uh, Baguio, you know, um, Pampanga, Batangas, and also in C Visayas, like in um, uh, Cebu, like I said, Talisa, Dagupan, uh, the whole Visayas region, and also the Mindanao, uh, uh a cdo yeah i was thinking about cdo and then uh davao yeah viewers from davao viewers from uh Asambuanga del norte uh tampilisan liloy um ipil and dipolog and let me see uh the pitan <laughs> uh, you know i i thank you so much guys for uh supporting my channel anyway today i was just going to do an unboxing uh the other day my friends and i we just went a little bit of a like an unplanned uh, visit to teji max of course guys it's not a sponsored uh, video either but we just kind of like walk around and you know just just kind of like uh that's what we do sometimes when we just kind of have the feel of the, the urge actually to just kind of look around it doesn't mean that you know we buy anything just to kind of unwind people drink you know alcohol or adult beverages that's what they call when they do when they do unwinding but as women most of the time we go shopping or window shopping is i should say so the other day we were just doing window shopping look around so um my friend she alex uh, like she's one of my friend that's a filipina and she's a nurse also uh we actually graduated in the same school here different year and uh, we also used to work on the same uh the same uh clinic also so anyhow just like a short story about that but anyway, uh, we were just walking around and he, I mean, she, he, <laughs> she saw this box and this box is kind of like, uh, she has one of these things. It's an item, guys. Yeah, just kind of make you a little bit kind of looking forward to see what it is. But anyhow, she was telling me that, which of course I know also that those kind of what uh the what the box is what's inside the box is really like expensive so i'm just gonna show that to you quickly you know and then i can keep talking <laughs> so this is i ended up buying this one guys yes it's a four square waffle maker so and it's the brand name is all clad all clad is always like uh maybe i would say it's not quite of the electrolux kind of type of thing i know a lot of filipino a lot of us filipinos knows what the elect electrolux are but it's kind of like you know it's it's a brand name that's so uh uh durable that's what i should say now i think it's like the salad master <laughs> that's the thing in the philippines now but anyway this is an old clad and this is uh 
a waffle maker but it's not just a plain waffle maker because you can buy a waffle maker anywhere you know cheaper ones also but they're not they're not um, they're not thick they're just like a thin after you make your waffle it's like a thin one this is actually a Belgian see what it looks like right there this is actually a, a Belgian uh, waffle maker it's gonna cover my whole face right I'm just gonna just go like this see that's what it looks like four squares and they are thick so anyhow my husband has been wanting to uh, buy a waffle maker and I said why do you need a waffle maker for I can do a pancake you know but uh, but then when he was thinking of buying he was showing me what kind of waffle maker he's gonna buy and it's just like I said the thin one and I'm not really I wasn't really jumping up and down of it to buy that because it's not what I want of course it's all about what I want right not necessarily guys but I just want the durable one you know so anyway so anyhow I know uh, when you look at it online when you google this look at this online this one this model this item is a hundred and ninety nine dollars so it's pretty much a 200 uh, waffle maker but mind you guys we uh we went to TJ Max. So TJ Max somehow their their prices are not as uh so much higher. So it's kind of like uh forty percent cheaper than what actually the MSRP. You know, so what they buy it in the regular store. So anyway, at TJ Max, here's the price. Okay, I'm gonna turn it that way. TG Max, the price for TG Max is this, $129.99. So this is like $130 at TG Max. And so I'm thinking, okay, that's still high for me, for a waffle maker. You know, how often do you, you, do you make waffle maker? In my, in my uh, situation, I will only make a waffle, waffle probably like, once a week on a Sunday or on a Saturday maybe you know if either four times a month or two times a month that's the most I can do that because you know it's it's work and I don't do that on weekdays because we all go to work early and leave early and no time for uh, fixing breakfast but just like on the go breakfast like cereal things like that so uh, anyway and, and I will make waffle waffle only on weekends because you know the waffle comes with all that different good stuff syrup and then maybe bacon and sausage with it a good breakfast so uh, that's why i'm not so kind of i was at, i was not in a hurry to buy a waffle maker so when we get there like i said the original price at teju max is 130 dollars and then that day the other day when we when we saw it, it was it was on sale again. Now see what's the sale price on the red uh, tag there, guys. It's ninety nine dollars. So uh, the original, well, the price online, or if I buy this waffle maker in any other store, you know, it's two hundred dollars, hundred ninety nine, and that's what my friend says. She says. Oh, you should buy that because I have one. I paid two hundred dollars on mine. I'm thinking I know how expensive it is, you know, and I know you have yours. <laughs> but anyway, and she says she loves hers. I mean, you know, she she's guys. She's a good cook. She does everything too. So that said, uh, so she wants. She she said go ahead get it, and I wasn't gonna get it. But then you know I was. I wasn't pressured or anything by any means at all, guys. I was just kind of walk around and trying to justify it. But then I realized, you know, I buy stuff all the time at the at treasure hunt to send to, to put in the box to send to my village. So I'm thinking, well, maybe this is kind of like a, a present to my husband. So, and I was, uh, mind you guys, I was going to have him do the unboxing and he says, no, I'm not into the camera today. So that's what I said. Okay, I'll just do the unboxing. So we are going to unbox my all clad 
four square waffle makers waffle makers waffle maker <laughs> i'm gonna make it plural guys so anyhow let's start opening this guys this guy <laughs> so let's start doing like this oh and this is by the way guys this is heavy the reason it's kind of it's really kind of like a sturdy sturdy one sturdy sturdy so however i pronounce it right but however you pronounce it Sometimes I would say there's nothing right, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just as long as everybody can understand what I'm talking about, <laughs> even around here. So, oh, this is heavy, guys. Let me just get up because I see what it's like in here. Just to kind of give you an idea, that's what it looks like from the inside of the box. So, let me just grab a hold of this. I have to fight this. I have to fight with this, guys. <laughs> Here's my Lizzie right here. They're both sleeping. Lola on the other side. But I have to. Ha I have my dogs all the time with me when I'm at home. Okay. I just go a little bit like this. waffle maker comes with of course an instruction manual make sure that i have the right the right side the english side which we can understand <laughs> and then the other side is like french i think so and then it comes with the instruction manual and it comes with a three years warranty uh, form that i need to fill it out and send it to them to activate the warranty so I know I was just kind of like doing it fast. But anyway, this uh, waffle maker, it comes, I was just going to go like this. So I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, this, <laughs> so this is like the um, uh, locking mechanism so that, okay, I can open it like this. This is a, uh, so I can uh, lock this unit like this for easy carrying you know like that when you lock it then it's it can be carried that way but um, it should not be locked this locking mechanism should not be locked while uh, when cooking a uh, waffle so uh, one thing also that I noticed I thought I can take the plate out to wash but uh, it's not it says it's pretty much the plate stays in place which is kind of like it's not i was thinking oh but then the more i look at it it's not really bad because of course it's kind of non-stick and then you can just or, or you know i can just uh, use a soft brush and brush whatever crumbs left in the plate but uh it's you know it's kind of like it's not bad it's i guess the way i look at it you gotta have i'm gonna have a thicker waffle you know they call it belgian really thick belgian uh, waffle and then easy to do and the cleaning is not difficult either because it's non-stick anyway 
So, but then the instruction says that even though it's non-stick, I still have to brush a little bit of oval in here so that it will not stick together. But my friend already, guys, she already gave me a good uh, waffle uh, recipe. So, I'm going to try that here soon. But anyhow, so that's what it is right here. And then, oh, I was going to show. Okay, first, where is it? I have this. This one here is a drip tray or drip pan. Uh, I would say a drip batter pan. Like you put it here, just like so. I don't know if you guys can see it. You just you put it, stack, stick it like there, so that when I open the lid, when you open the lid, whatever is uh, butter that's still kind of not, you know, uh, toast or crusty or it's still wet, it will drip right into the pan right here. So that's one thing. That's another good thing that, you know, at least easy to clean with. I have that one. And also, I just went ahead and uh, lock this uh, unit again, guys, so that I can do it like this. I can even store it both ways. I can store it like this, or I can store it sideways. So, you know, it's kind of neat where you can just do that to your, uh, to my cooking thing, to my cooking unit. So anyhow, and there's a nap here too. So I was going to show that the nap. So when uh, this, of course, this is electric, guys. I should say that, right? So when it's plugged in, there's an indicator here. They should turn red. So let me just go like that a little bit. Okay. So when it's plugged in, it's turned red. And then um, when... It's warm enough. See, there's a nap also. There's okay. Every time you plug in, it turns red. It means it's it's plug in. You know, it's got power in it. And then this knob here, there's different numbers here. It's one, two. I don't know if you can see that. One to seven. This is pretty much an indicator, or not an indicator. Like when you, depending how. Um, toasty you want your your uh, waffle this is how you can this is how you can um, set it just like that like just like when you're making a toast you kind of this is a dial yeah you kind of dial it into how dark you want your toast so this one here is still a uh, same say uh, excuse me sorry about that <laughs> I'm sorry guys I'm always like this I get so my brain runs fast my mouth cannot catch up with it <laughs> but anyway so this dial will also kind of make you choose how brown you want your waffle and then and then it's also the instruction says that I need to preheat the plate uh, up to between five or seven minutes before you start uh, do are putting the batter in so uh, like I said when you plug it in this indicator will turn red and then you let it set for you know preheat it for um, uh, five minutes when it's the uh, five minutes or you know what uh, whatever temperature let me just see if I'll do if I wanted my batter like three which is like medium medium brown it's gonna be like uh, crispy outside but a little bit softness gooey inside that would be the three that's what I would say so I will after I turn it uh, after I turn it plug uh, after I <laughs> plug it in the uh, the power then this will turn red then I turn the dial into three and then this green light will, will turn over oh, this red light will turn into green and then when the green lights uh, beeps, and that means it's ready to put the butter in. So since I had on three, the dial on three, when the cooking is done, this will beeps also to let me know that, yeah, your uh, waffle is ready. Isn't that nice? I don't have to kind of keep checking. Uh, that's that's good. I was like, I'm going to, my husband already said, my husband already put an order for a waffle <laughs> but I said not right away I need but I told him that I have to get the ingredients first my first waffle probably it's either with uh, blueberry 
I'm kind of debating, guys, either with blueberry or with bacon. Yeah, bacon, right? <laughs> that's kind of more like me. So anyhow, so that's how it's going to be. And then, like I said, it beeps. When after it's preheated, it beeps. That means it tells you that it's ready to put your batter in the plate. And then when it's done, it will beep also letting you know that the waffle is done or ready for you to take it out of, of the thing. The, 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 only different, the only thing that I probably would say is that, you know, when, all, when you make or make anything from home instead of just going getting it from the restaurant and things like that is that when you make your butter you don't make butter enough just for four squares so you know that kind of gives you extra but uh, my husband of course she's he is so not fun of well I'll take it back he eats leftover but when it comes to pancakes and waffle he doesn't eat leftover so yeah that's kind of not good for me, right? <laughs> I'll be gaining, a, you know, blowing up like... So anyway, you guys have seen already some of my little belly while I was doing the unboxing when I, in the middle of this uh, video. <laughs> I know, my brain. The reason I laugh like this, guys, because... you. I mean, I'm thinking of, of different things that make me laugh. That's why I have this, like, giggles that... You guys to understand why I was giggling, but what's in my brain makes me laugh like that. <laughs> Thinking of how big I'm going to be. But anyway, this is what I, you know, like I said, this is what I got from my husband. It's just a, a thank you, you know, for putting up with me type of gift to my husband. Yeah, trying to make him happy to ride. So, yeah, it's a, it's a nice uh, unit, of course. Uh, I would say, well, my friend told me that she likes hers. And, of course, who doesn't like, uh, you know, nice stuff, especially if you use it a lot. That's one thing. But if you buy stuff just to sit around and collect dust, to me, I would say that's a wasting money. But, yeah, definitely this one, these are one of the things that I can, I will be using a lot of. So, and this is good for like uh, camping, huh? So, yes, guys, this, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy this uh, vlogs for today. And I know my, my vlogs is kind of like different things, you know, uh, you know, beauty, like whatever I buy, like makeup, things like that, shopping, you know, everything, but you know, it's just one of the things that, that's how I unwind stuff. That's what you, they call it, unwinding. So, so far, guys, I like this purchase. And being for the price of 50%, that's even better. So, uh, uh, you will be seeing when I make uh, my waffle also, I will do a vlogs for that. Yeah, with that or however you call it. But definitely I will show you some vlogs when I'll be making waffle. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy today's vlogs. And uh, I might not, uh, I, I don't know if you learned something, but I hope you did. <laughs> well, I should say at least, you know, try to. Sometimes we buy stuff, we shop just like spur of a moment. But even though this is kind of one of those part of the moment buying but it's not that uh you know i'm not i wasn't paying the full price the msrp price which is 200 dollars. i got it for 50 percent off so that's good so um anyway guys you comment below if maybe you want to see well i would say comment below see if you like my uh my new uh waffle maker I wish I could give you some of my waffles too when I make some, right? <laughs> so anyhow, guys, thank you so much. I hope you will have a good day and enjoy your day. And uh, you take care, be safe, and I will see you soon, guys, back here in my channel. Bye! By the way, you take care and be careful and be safe, and I'll see you soon.